Hey guys, just a quick vlog. Somebody asked me about the uh, ways in which I would recommend in terms of documenting your app. I pointed out how good documentation for your application is super important for future development because you're going to forget why you made certain decisions architecturally and so on uh, down the road. A month later, you'll probably forget. So what would I would suggest? Number one, you should have self-describing code. Your method names, your function names, your variable names, etc., should be self-describing. So if you have a function that validates an email address, you call it validate email address, that kind of thing. That's kind of a low-level way of doing it, but it's good so that when some other developer is looking through your code base, they'll be able to get a pretty good understanding of what's going on just by reading the code itself. Number two would be inline comments. You can comment your code, like, you know, whether it be HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, uh, C Sharp, what have you. Have comments that are strategically placed in certain areas that uh, something that you would find useful as a developer to look up. Why is this object here? Or maybe what, what, this object does or what it uh, it does within the context of your app. Maybe you can briefly describe why you uh, why it does it in a particular way, but you do it. So it's a little bit beyond just describing its simple function, but maybe you get into it just a little bit what was the reasoning behind the logic of, of the, the particular function or method or whatnot. The specifics about how much comments you should have is uh, really uh, a feel thing. You shouldn't have too many comments in there, um, but you should have at least some, I think. For me, uh, I have self-describing code to describe the basic function of uh, the functions and the methods. And then I'll use inline comments where there might have been a particular decision made about going uh, left instead of right with the way I was structuring the code. So I, I put that there and I put the reasoning there. Again, this is a, a uh, per situation judgment call on your part. You'll know when it makes sense to put an in the line comment right where it makes sense, meaning right on a particular object or right on a particular um, uh, variable, for example. I don't know. So. I hope you get the idea with that. But not too many. Some people would argue that having inline comments means that your code is not necessarily the best. Again, not too many comments. You don't want to put a diary or the whole life, your whole life story in your comments. But strategically placed inline comments are pretty cool. What I mean by inline, by the way, if it's not clear, right in the code. So you have like uh, your package, you import your packages on the top. You have your your different uh, your different um, objects, you know, and then you have your methods, and maybe in particular areas in there, right in the code, you might throw in some comments. The third thing I would do is use a GitHub comments. So when you're uh, doing your GitHub stuff, leave some comments behind. Uh, that is very useful as well. Another way to document your code, and the fourth way is you should have a, a document. I like to use, a, you know, whether it be Google Docs or some other cloud-based application. And you have a story, a detailed story, a breakdown of your application. And you might want to separate it out in terms of uh, major functionality or major classes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is something where when somebody comes to your project, a developer, or you come back to your project, you can go back to this cloud doc, look at the whole thing. Uh, the major uh, architectural choices will be described and reasoned out, and you explain why you did certain things, especially if they're tricky little things in terms of how you structured uh, your app. And then once they have this cloud doc that you can share amongst the developers, this is like the, the, the hub, if you will, of information. Then you have all the rest. You have the self-describing code, the inline comments, and the GitHub comments to add a little bit of more information on top of that. So there you have it. That's how I would do it. It's something neglected uh, oftentimes, unfortunately. 
um, in software development, but leaving comments behind in these four forums will prove to be super valuable in your coding career. And um, I consider part of best practices to be uh, faithful to your commenting that way and, and your documenting of your application. And I think that when you do go into a job, you should ask people about that. Say, what, how do you guys want to do this in this company? How do you guys document your code? And uh, be sure to follow along with them. Trust me, it will save you a huge amount of headaches down the road when you're able to go back to your code that's well documented. Uh, it will just make your life as a developer much, much easier.